I'm Sean and this is Painting by the Numbers and I'm going to show you how to do an original oil painting with a brush, some paint, oil paints, a canvas, a palette, some paper towels and uh, that's about it to start off with. And uh, here are some examples of uh, some of the oil paintings right there that I've done. Uh, Mona Lisa is not quite finished. There's a finished piece right there and I'll do an original one for you right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your oil paint and uh, put it onto the palette. So I don't have a real palette right here, I'm just going to use a wood panel that I found that'll work just fine. Or you could use a paper plate or wax paper if you don't have a palette, but uh, just anything that's not paper that could kind of ruin the paint. So I'm going to open this up. And for a night sky, I think that Prussian blue and black to start out with and some white would be good. So I'm going to take Prussian blue here. I'm simply just going to put it onto the palette. Mars black. And two. Titanium white. White is really important for mixing, so you're gonna need it. And white is in almost anything, so so for whatever painting you're gonna create, you should have some white. Also make sure that you have paper towels, brushes, uh, canvas, palette, and paints. That's about it. In a future episode, I will show how to use linseed oil and paint thinner, which is better for uh, most oil paintings. You can control the thickness or thinness of the paint and the texture, and that's what linseed oil and paint thinner are both good for. So if you want to do a little bit of a better piece, you might want to think about getting that. We have our paints on the palette. We can begin to paint. And I have a new canvas here that I'm going to open. So you just want to open it. Alright, that's the back. And here's the front. So I'm gonna place it here. I don't have an easel, but this will work just fine. It's a mirror. Uh, you don't need an easel. You can paint on a desk or your lap or whatever, but an easel is uh, definitely useful. Now here I have some new oil paint brushes. If you're going to do oil paintings, you should definitely get oil painting brushes because they're made special for oil paintings. These are uh, pretty good the last time I used them. Uh, and they're numbered for the thickness of the brush. So this, you have a two. Sorry, might be hard to see. This is a two. And here you have a zero. So as you can see, uh, the zero is a little bit smaller. So if I need to use both, what I would do for a night sky is I would probably use this to paint the sky and I would use a smaller one for the stars because uh, the stars are just like little points of paint and for this you're going to want to cover more area on the canvas so you'd want a bigger brush, you can get all kinds of sizes but for this uh, demonstration, this is pretty much all I need but make sure that you get oil painting brushes or if you're doing watercolor, you get watercolor brushes or if you're doing acrylic, uh, you can also get acrylic brushes to paint so here I have Prussian blue right here. That's black and a little bit of red and some white. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start to mix the paints onto the palette. So for the sky, I think that Prussian blue looks really good. So 
So I'm just going to start by just getting this onto the palette. Now that I have a nice texture. Now with linseed oil and paint thinner, if I had some of that, it might look a little bit cleaner because you can kind of control these chunks of oil that you have here. But so, so far I'm going to just mix a little bit of that. There you have a nice dark blue. And I'm going to take some white, just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to work it in. Like that, so I get a nice mix of those two. It looks pretty. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of black, because too much will probably overwhelm it. But now you got a nice gray-blue kind of color there. So... In a sky, or pretty much almost anything you paint, there's multiple colors, so if you see a, a sky that looks blue, there's red in there, and there's white, and there's purple, and green, and all kinds of other colors, so don't be afraid to mix it. And here, I like the way that looks, so. A little bit more blue. Now this is what I'm going to start off with, this area that I'm painting on the palette here for the sky. I'll just take a little bit of red. It's a little bit too much. A little bit more. Make it a little darker, so we'll take a little bit more black. Now you could probably cover most of the canvas with just this part here because it's a lot of paint. Okay, now we're ready to paint on the canvas. We're ready to paint on the canvas. Just gonna take this here so it doesn't fall. And I'm not gonna do the whole painting right here because it would probably take a little too long. So I'm just gonna show you how it's done here. So I have my palette here. This is very simple. You could just start off like this, just a palette or paper plate, wax paper, plastic with a nice smooth surface, a brush and a canvas and some paint and that's pretty much all you need to start off with. So if I had a bigger brush, you could cover more surface, obviously. So I'm just going to start with the middle here, with this. Get some more paint.
mixing all the, the other colors here. So I'll take some red just on the palette. And then I'll put it right here. And you want to mix it in on the canvas as well. So the canvas, I would like to sometimes think of it like it's a palette too. And oil paint doesn't dry. So you can always mix it up to maybe a couple of weeks. off on some of the paper towel here. Now I'm going to take some white paint. A nice bit here. And I'm going to work it into the painting on the canvas. in the colors here so it looks smooth. I'm going to wipe some of the paint off on a paper towel. Now I'm going to mix around the areas of white that I put here. Wipe off some paint and then start mixing more around the edges of these areas of white paint here. So it mixes in there and then the middle pops out and you get some value. people so now that we have the sky to your uh, desired texture or whatever you can uh, obviously paint on the whole canvas I kind of like how it came out like has a vibe like the earth so I'm gonna keep it that way and you never know what you're gonna get from art and it's unexpected and it's cool so uh, that's an example right there so now I'm just gonna take this clean brush that I have the zero the number zero and I'm gonna take only white paint try not to get any other color there 
So we do stars and it's only white so you don't want to mix here. Just get that and simply just do points like so. Random places wherever you like. Now I don't have paint there so I'm just going to wipe some off again. Make sure I have as little blue or red paint as possible. Get a nice bit of white there, titanium white. mix in some of these stars so you get kind of a starry mixing kind of look right there because not everyone's going to look the same obviously so some are going to be brighter than others and you can do this at random or you can do it from a photo whatever you like or simply just mix around again like I did with the sky You want to keep some of them nice and bright. And there you have it. It's an original oil painting, a night sky. And the last thing I'm going to do is sign it. And I'll sign my name right here. Nice guy, it's original oil painting, and you could do it too. Just get some paints, brushes, nice palette, canvas, and there we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.